but the why, the feeling of like why you want to do things is, is more or less grounded in who you are as a person, right? So what I've been doing over the last, uh, probably last week or so, all the extra spare time I had beside for work, over the weekend, in the mornings, before work and stuff, I've really just been sitting and, and redefining and working on my why. What's your purpose with your life? Why are you doing what you're doing? So um, what I'm gonna share with you today, I'm gonna share with you, first of all, a simple technique that you can do to, to, to more or less today, figure out what is your why? Why are you doing a certain things? And why do you wanna achieve a certain goal, for example? Um, so, so, so again, like, like, it's not just something you do, and then like, then it's that, and then you don't have to think about it anymore. The why is so, sort of like, it's something you dig into. But the why, the feeling of like why you want to do things is, is more or less grounded in who you are as a person, right? Benefits, benefits for you figuring out your why is that you are getting clear, right? And when you get clear, you know, okay, this is the direction I want to go in. I'm not just guessing or hoping things will happen or hope things will change and stuff. I am clear in the bottom of my heart, what is the direction I want to head in? A good way to look at your why in is that look towards the past. Look towards the past. And what I mean by that, look towards past behaviors. Past behaviors, because in your past behaviors, patterns are you know shining through in what you're doing. So when you are five years old and you want to, so, so, so for example, for me, when I was five years old, wanting to play football, you know, I wanted to be the best. I was practicing, I was going all out, I was training and I was training and I was training to become the best I could be in football. Okay, good. Then I went a little bit off track, went into my teenage years and start doing drugs and start doing stupid things, right? And I just went down that track and I went all out and I went all out and I want to experience how high I could get. I would experience how far I could take it. I would experience what was the ultimate feeling of that. Moving into my, my, my early, early 20s, like late teens, 19, 20 years old, you know, really taking up my fitness, really taking up my training, starting competing. I wanted to see how far I could take it, right? Went to fitness competition, want to be the best. I was training, I was practicing, I would, you know, I was drilling, I was rehearsing. I wanted to see what the ultimate feeling was. Moving overseas, moving to Australia, you know, I moved overseas. I wanted to see what the ultimate experience was. Moving away from home, starting my own business, going all out, training every single day, training, practice, studying, you know, learning every single day to get the ultimate experience of that, right? So right now you can almost hear there's a pattern there's been in my life. You should be aware of turning points in your life. You should be aware of periods in your life where you did certain things, right? You had a period of when you were doing that, then you were that age, you were doing that, you were doing that, and you were doing that. And I guarantee you, you got a pattern in that time of your life. There's the same that drives you today. And as simple as it sounds, that's your why, right? That's your feeling for why you wanna do things, why you're pushing through, right? So, so, so my why, my feeling, my, 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 my deep thing in there is like, I inspire, I inspire every single day to go all out to have the ultimate experience of life. So if I try to get the ultimate experience in certain areas of my life, what's the ultimate goal? What's my ultimate why? Why? It's to come to the end of my life to suck every single fiber out of my life, experienced every single thing I could, go all out in every single area and experience the ultimate feeling of life. That's my why. So what can I use for that right now? And again, take notes. This is not, this, I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about you. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, paint a picture of what you need to be doing, all right? So when I know that now, okay, this is my, this is my core essence of why I wanna do things, right? Quickly, you have a compass. You know what is the direction you want to head in. You can make decisions based on that. So, why I want to, what I want to show with you right now, an easy way for you to to actually craft that out. And I've talked about this one here before, and it's something called the seven step why formula. I want you to take what a certain area, certain topic that you are um, 
you know, that you are trying to pursue in your life right now. It could be a certain goal, it could be a certain outcome, it could be a certain base basement question right for for, for, for what, what why are you doing things right it could be about your relationship why am i in the relationship with that person right now for example me why am i having the business i having right why am i having the business i having why are you in this career why are you trying to pursue this new job or new career you have so then you ask yourself why am i in the business i'm in right now why do i want to try to pursue this career right now you ask yourself why find opportunity to grow, right? A fun opportunity to grow. So why am I a business? The first thing I thought about, I'm like, okay, why am I doing what I'm doing in business right now? I'm like, oh, it's a, it's a great way for me to grow. Then I ask yourself, why is it important for you to grow? So what I would write down and what I wrote down was, it gives me a sense of control. So why do I wanna grow? Because I wanna have a sense of control that if I'm growing, I am, I am reaching, I am you know, controlling, I am getting more skilled, I know what I'm talking about, I know what I'm doing, it gives me a sense of control, right? Why do I wanna control? Why is it important for me to have a sense of control? So I can win, right? I wanted to win when I was playing football. I wanted to win and do stupid things. I wanted to be the one that did the most. I wanted to win when I did fitness. I wanted to be number one on stage. I wanna win in business. I wanna win in life. I inspired to have the ultimate experience of life. I wanna win. Okay, good. Why is it important for you to win? It's probably hard to see for you because I am obsessed with how the next level is going to look like. I'm obsessed with climbing the ladder and see what's on the other side. I'm obsessed to push in the wall to see what's on the other side. That's my feeling, right? I'm, I'm like, I wanna, I wanna so badly see what's on the next level, right? Why do I wanna see what's on the next level? Why am I obsessed with the next level? And this thing here, it takes time. Right? It took me roughly around four or five days to craft all those things there. Because you're sitting and thinking, it's not just something I'm writing out like I'm doing here right now. I've been thinking and practicing those things, right? You gotta take your time. And you gotta, you gotta take your time and really dive into the thing here. But you know, again, I'm only four steps down right now. And I'm, I'm, I'm dialing into why am I in business? Now you can see we're now with number four because I'm obsessed with seeing what's on the next level. I wanna go to the next level. So why do I really want to go to the next level? Because I want to become limitless. I don't want to have any boundaries. I don't want to have any clutter in my mind, in my life. I don't want to have anything that holds me back. I want to go full speed and have the ultimate experience of life. I don't know at this stage, I want to have the ultimate experience of life. But now you can see, you can see a pattern, right? You can see a flow in what am I actually doing? Why am I doing what I'm doing? I could put exactly the same um, uh, topic in as um, why did I move to Australia? Why did, I, why did I start in fitness? Why did I start my own business as I'm doing here right now? Why do I wanna become limitless? It's because I wanna live in tune with my true spirit, the person, Simon, that I really love. I know when I'm like, I'm scratching who I really am, when I'm acting who I really am, when I'm, when I'm like in tune with who I really am. And I think it's, it's you know, people, people might be aware of it or not, but it's like finding that core essence of who you are. No layers, no conditions, right? Being limitless, be who you are, that person I really love. Because we all have it in us. We all know who we are when we really, like everything is just like, fulfillment euphoric you know it's 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 floating around right in us i want to be that person because i know who i am and i know i love this person when i am this person when i can live in tune with this person right no layers i got another layer to be like okay so why do i want to live in tune why do i want to be uh living uh, as the true the true spirit simon right and this is my why this is why I'm doing what I'm doing, right? Why do I want to live in tune with that true spirit of Simon? Because I aspire, I aspire to go all out to have the ultimate experience of life and making the biggest contribution to the world by inspiring others to do the same, right? I aspire, I wake up, I want to go all out. I wake up every single day to push beyond 
what I am capable of to have the most ultimate experience of life. And what is the ultimate experience of life? I don't know. I just know there is, there is something more. There's something above. I want to see what it is. I want to try it. It's like drugs. I wanted to try the, the craziest thing to get the ultimate experience of life. I don't want to settle, right? I don't want to be satisfied with where I am. I don't want to just be Simon living here right now, being 27. I want to have the ultimate experience of life in all aspects of life. And I can only make the biggest contribution to the world by inspiring others to do the same. I believe in my heart that if I can do that, if I can live my life like that, right? Looking back when I'm 90, 100, whatever, we might live as 200 years at, at that time. Look back and I knew that I, I, I explored everything. I explored everything that I should do, right? And that's back to the more spiritual stuff, being the true spirit of who you are, acting according to you. And the gateway to that is courage, right? It's just pushing through with courage and ignite that true spirit of yourself so you can have the ultimate experience of life. Say yes, and you can have that ultimate experience of life. And I believe in my heart that if I can do that, if I can pursue that, I can help every single person I'm getting in touch with by inspiring them to do the same. And I, I, I believe, and that's just in my heart, that, 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 is, that is the greatest thing on earth that I possibly could do. Help other people to ignite that thing. Help other people and inspire them to do exactly the same thing. You can hear. I'm speaking from my heart with those things there, legend. I'm speaking from my heart with those things there because why? It's my why. It comes from within. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why I'm a coach. That's why I want to help people, right? I want to ignite their own true spirit. So legend, we talked about it in the beginning, figuring out why is it actually effective? Why is it important for you to figure out your why? Draft it down. What would it give you with more clarity about where you want to go? And then try this seven step why formula as I just did there. Write out a headline and then just write why seven times all the way down. And I promise you, I've done it many times. You know, it might, it might feel a little bit weird in the beginning. And when you come down to the bottom, it's like, oh, it doesn't really make sense. But when you really take time, when you really sit down and you commit to be like, okay, I'm not going to leave this piece of paper. I'm not going to leave this exercise right now until I'm all the way through. I'm not going to complete this task until I'm like, okay, in my gut, at this stage of my life, I feel that this is my driver. This is my course. And this is the reason for why I am doing what I'm doing. Right. And again, one last thing to say, as always, remember, raise your baseline. Chat to you soon.